dipersembahkan oleh Ya pemirsa kita langsung menuju Istana Merdeka untuk mengikuti pernyataan bersama Presiden Joko Widodo dan Presiden Filipina Rodrigo Duterte. Saya kira tiga hal itu yang bisa saya sampaikan pada sore hari ini dan saya persilakan Presiden Duterte untuk menyampaikan statementnya. Thank you, uh, President, Your Excellency. Again, express gratitude for your warm welcome and the exceptional arrangements accorded to me and my delegation during my visit to Indonesia. I'm very pleased and honored to be in Jakarta. The Philippines consider its relations with Indonesia as among the most important. And today we've taken steps to ensure that these ties remain vibrant and will gain greater depth and new dimensions. My meeting with President Widodo was very productive and fruitful. We discussed ways of strengthening existing bilateral cooperation and identified new areas of partnership, including maritime, security, and law enforcement. We agreed to encourage the earliest and effective implementation of cooperative framework to address security issues, which is really the most uh, uh, problem for the two countries. We express commitment to take all necessary steps to ensure security in the loose sea and maritime areas of common interest. As two of the largest archipelagos in the world, we recognize the value of maritime cooperation and we will explore in this area, particularly in human resource development. And of course, arrangements between aquatic resources expertise and the shipbuilding industry. We also express serious concern over recent developments in the region, including the South China Sea. We called on parties to respect the rule of law and welcome the support of partners in efforts to ensure the security and stability of the region, especially in the peaceful settlement of disputes in accordance with international law. We understand that peace is a necessary condition for growth and progress. I express appreciation for Indonesia's abiding support to the Philippine government as we move forward with our peace processes. We also recognize the value of connectivity in spurring and sustaining growth in our countries. We discussed ways to boost air and sea connectivity and how enhance trade, how to enhance trade and people-to-people -people exchanges that could be improved in the lives, particularly in the area of the BIMP Iaga. Both sides likewise viewed with grave concern the threat of terrorism and violent extremism. We agreed to work together to prevent, arrest, and prosecute all those who seek to sow fear and terror in our societies. We share the deep concern over trade in illicit and illegal drugs and its impact on our society. We will seek ways to intensify cooperation and the campaign against this menace. We all do, do our part in contributing with the aim of a drug-free ASEAN community. With the President Chairman of Asian in 2017, I am glad to hear we, uh, President Widodo's support for the Philippines. I look forward to working closely with him on regional initiatives and that will strengthen ASEAN. Certainly, the ties that bind the Philippines and Indonesia are long and enduring. The Philippines holds its relations with Indonesia as one that is truly valued. Indonesia is not only a friend, but a brother. Indonesia is assured of the Philippines' commitment to grow these relations in the years to come. I look forward to reciprocating President Widodo's hospitality when he visits the Philippines at mutually, at a mutually, mutually convenient time. I look forward to working closely with my friend and brother. I mean, I will add to the uh, just a few minutes, Mr. President. In 1972, there was this uh, problem of oil, and there was uh, almost a crisis. 
and there was rationing of fuel all over, including my country, the Philippines. Mm -hmm. I was still a student at the time when I read uh, the assurance uh, of the Indonesian government that not to worry if no oil would get to us by way of the Middle East. And they said that you Filipinos will be supported by Indonesia. You will have your oil and gasoline. For that, I just, as a vignette in life, to just inform how Indonesia has treated us like a big brother. And we will continue to uh, maintain this valued friendship, Mr. President. Thank you, and I thank the, the Indonesian people. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the joint press statement by both Presidents, President Widodo and President Duterte. Thank you very much for your kind attention and attendance, and enjoy your stay here in Jakarta. Have a pleasant evening. Ya, pemirsa itulah konferensi pers yang tadi disampaikan oleh Presiden Joko Widodo bersama dengan Presiden Filipina yaitu Rodi Duterte yang kurang lebih mengatakan mengenai keamanan maritim ya. Andy, ya, ya. Ada beberapa yang ditegaskan ya, Ikan seperti misalnya penegakan hukum dan juga keamanan mengingat Indonesia masih punya sejumlah isu uh, keamanan dengan uh, Filipina ya. terkait uh, penyanderaan sejumlah warga negara Indonesia oleh Abu Sayyaf. Ya. Lalu juga ada isu terorisme, narkotika yang akan memperkuat kerjasama antara Indonesia dengan Filipina. Yang menarik adalah disebutkan bahwa kerjasama antara Indonesia dan Filipina sudah terjalin lama dan kokoh dan kedepannya ya. ini akan lebih diperkuat lagi. Ya, kita harapkan tentu saja semoga kedepannya tidak ada lagi warga negara Indonesia yang kemudian disandra. Itu, itu yang paling penting ya begitu ya. Baik pemirsa itulah tadi konferensi pers sedikit mengenai kerjasama Indonesia dan Filipina.